When you take a step back and look at what Star Citizen has to offer in the form of actual gameplay and mechanics, you begin to see that while CIG has done pretty good over the last six months of releasing new game loops and tech, there's still a long way to go. Hello everyone, Stranger here. One mechanic that players have been waiting for is the ability to buy or find items and resell them to other players. We aren't talking about commodities or minerals, but items that aren't sold at in-game stores anymore. While a black market does exist for these items, it currently doesn't offer a mechanic to make the process easy or quick. Currently, if you wanted to sell, say, 10 railguns, because Jumptown is around the corner, well, first you're going to have to go out and probably make a few one or two SCU boxes. Well, then you have to meet a buyer inside a hangar, for example. The buyer's going to have to MO trade you the agreed upon amount of money, and then you're going to transfer those railguns into those SCU containers, or maybe a shared storage of a ship. This does seem simple, however, SCU containers do have a tendency to bug out after one person loots it. Or, say, midway through the deal, we experience a 30k, or a crash at desktop. And as a buyer, there is also no way to verify if the seller actually has the items on hand. He could just be scamming you with a cargo hole full of empty one or two SCU boxes. A simpler solution that honestly is easy to implement in game is to add trade terminals to current ships. Now yes, I know, we all hate how CIG seems to pump out variants of ships. But while we wait for ships like the Manny Merchantman and Kraken Privateer, a ship like the Cutlass could fit the role and get us to at least tier 0. We can call this the Cutlass Green for this example. Imagine adding a trade screen like we have on every shop or TDD to the back wall of a Cutlass Blue or Red's layout. A small cargo area is big enough to allow players to enter the rear ramp, access the terminals, and leave without being inside the main ship. If a sail mode was activated in the cockpit, for example, that would disable all proximity sensors from opening any interior doors and block all doors by default. We could have a quick and viable way to start player trading. The main inside cargo area could have fixed storage containers which allow the ship to have a larger internal storage, where players could put items for sale. When a player adds items to the ship's inventory, he could either use the rear terminal or a master terminal inside the main body where he can edit the prices to all the inventory inside. To try to solve the issue of transferring large items like ship components and say size 5 repeaters for example, well then the sale is treated like it is at any station or city shop. The items delivered from the ship's inventory to the buyer's local inventory with a few clicks. Now yes, this does require ships to be somewhere with a local inventory. But what it offers players is a way to seamlessly and really efficiently start proper player trading. When ships like the Banyu Merchantman and Kraken Privateer are released, or even ship modules for the Caterpillar, yeah right, it will then be another step to having full on player driven economy. But something as simple as a terminal or two in the back of a cutty could add a whole new game loop now that players can salvage components and weapons. Now this isn't the end all say all, but CIG has stated in the past that they don't want to release some of these big ships without proper game loops in place. Honestly, this would give a way for CIG to tweak the UI interfaces and get an idea of how player trading is going to work. Another side benefit of this would be that letting players trade from one inventory to another probably allow orgs later on to have a shared inventory system, where gear and equipment can be at least shared. Now, finally I think the best way that CIG and probably the easiest way they can implement this is to install a barter terminal at a place like Grim Hex. Here the seller can go and select items from his local inventory, put a price on them, and sell them to the seller. Now, to prevent people from going in there and just creating long lists of things to sell, CIG can start off by putting a cap of 5 or 10 items at a time. Also put down a cooldown timer that after 5 or 10 minutes those items are no longer for sale. This way the buyer and seller kind of have to be together and travel to the terminal together, but the terminal acts as a middleman to protect the seller's assets from being stolen and from the buyer having his money stolen. With all that said, thanks for sticking with me if you made it this far. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think. Be safe out there, and I'll see you.